What's up fellow travelers, my name is Brian and welcome to my channel where I present travel tips, tricks and vlogs on a weekly basis. In the previous episode, I spent an amazing day in the Haut Gorge National Park doing one of the best trails to do in the Ole of Charlevoix region, which is the Acrepa de Dravar. It was an absolutely amazing day and if you guys had a chance to check out that video, I'll link it down below in the description. Today, I am in the Fjord de Sagné National Park, which is one of the most beautiful national parks in the region and more specifically, I'm going on a trail called Le Sancy des Caps, which will offer amazing views of the river of Saguenay. Also, I'm going whale watching, which will be absolutely breathtaking. I'm so excited for that. Never done it before. So with that, guys, let's just jump right into it, shall we? Alright guys, so we're actually starting the last day of my week-long road trip in Charlevoix by starting off with an amazing trail called the Sancy des Caps in the Fjord Sagné National Park. It is a beautiful trail and I look forward to doing it. I've been actually wanting to come to this national park for so long, but because it's so far from Gatineau, I've never taken the time to actually go to it. So with that, let's hit the trail. All right, so one of the questions I'm sure many of you are asking is, Brandon, as a solo traveler and also a solo hiker, are you afraid of, you know, the big animals in, in Canada, like bears and stuff like that? And the answer is obviously yes, because there is always that danger and risk factor when hiking in Canada alone. But obviously I take precautions, and one of the elements I do is this bell right here. And that usually keeps the bears away. Obviously, there's no way for me to actually know that because I can't talk to the bears but it is, is what is recommended. I'm no specialist, but do read before going into a national park on bears and what to do in case I'm encountering one. Because unfortunately, they're not Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> I wish they were. They just bring a big pot of honey, but uh, they can be dangerous. So with that, let's keep going on our trail. So another question I probably do get from some of my viewers is, does it get lonely hiking alone? And the answer is, is not really. Number one, I have a tendency to meet a lot of people when hiking. Just an example, yesterday I met two people and we hiked all the way to the top and down and we had some amazing conversations. And that's what usually happens. Um, if you're somebody who's not shy and loves to just talk to people like I am, um, you have no really worries about that. Two, I love hiking alone. It's peaceful, it's quiet, and just gives me some time just to think about life and etc. So yeah, I have no concern about hiking alone, just like traveling solo. Alright guys, after a 5.1 kilometer hike, it took about an hour and a half, you get these amazing views of the Saguenay River. It is absolutely breathtaking. So this is what you will find on top of the trail. And when I show you this, I'm gonna start heading down the hill. So with that, hope you enjoy. Have heard from the sky all about it. Down the river, high tide flows around it. Through the whispers of pines, I hear them sing. Alright guys, after doing that amazing hike, there's actually been a change in plans. Initially, I was supposed to drive to Bay St. Catherine to go do a Zodiac ride and go watch whales. But for the last past week, I've been having an internal debate about that. See, for a long time, I've never done whale watching because I'm not a really big fan about bringing boats near mammals like that in such a way that might disturb them. Now I know there's probably a debate about that, that's just my personal feeling. So today, during my hike, I actually decided not to do that. Instead, I actually decided to go on a Zodiac ride in the fjord I was hiking above. So, with La CEPAC, the organization that actually runs the national park I'm in right now, they organize Zodiac boat rides that are super informative about the area, the natural life, and also about the animals. For only $58 plus tax, you get an amazing ride. So with that, this is what I was able to capture during my boat ride. Mm. I 
escape from the mud There's dirt on my hands Strong like a tree There's roots where I stand Oh, I've been running from the law Hope they won't shoot me down soon Catch me howling at the moon guys after having that amazing boat ride I mean it was so much fun I cannot express how much fun I actually had during that boat ride for $58 plus tax I highly recommend you do that if you're going to visit the Fjord the Saguenay National Park and I can't say enough about the Fjord the Saguenay National Park I've had an absolutely amazing day there there's so many hikes to do whether it be on both sides of the Fjord and the boat ride itself was so informative I learned so much and it's just really cool the different aspects of it our boat driver was so kind and informative yeah I just and totally enjoyed my day I am now heading back to the town of La Malbe where I will be sleeping tonight and before I end today's episode and end this road trips vlog series I'm actually gonna visit the Manoir de Charlevoix where the G7 happened not too long ago in Canada so with that let's hit the road and let's get a bite to eat before we get there Alright guys, as we're wrapping up this amazing road trip to Charlevoix, which has been absolutely breathtaking, I mean I've done some of the best hikes you can do here and I'll tell you right now, I still want to go back and do them again because they're just that amazing. Today was a fantastic day in the Fjord Segne National Park, doing that amazing Zodiac ride and doing that amazing trail. And I finished out the day by doing a quick visit of the Manoir Richelieu, which is owned and run by the Fairmount. It is an expensive hotel, but obviously you can afford it. It offers amazing views of the St. Lawrence. Charlevoix is absolutely breathtaking, and unfortunately during the pandemic, it is extremely busy. That does not mean that should discourage you. It just means you need to plan in advance, book your accommodations, and get ready to take an adventure, because that's exactly what's gonna happen when you come to Charlevoix, an adventure. All in all, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this series, and especially today's video. And if you did, hit subscribe button down below for more travel tips, tricks, and vlogs. So with that, guys, I'll see you guys next Sunday at 11 a.m. for all new travel episode. Don't forget, guys, safe travels. Thank you.